Yo, what's up guys, it's International O back at it with another one. You know what you gotta do, you gotta hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It is appreciated and it goes a long way. Today, man, I'm doing a review on a shoe I got, man. Adidas basketball really has stepped their game up. If you guys haven't been paying attention, uh, the, the new set of athlete sneakers that they have rolling out, man. The designs have been out of this world. James Harden has a dope shoe coming. I think it's coming this week. Um, <clears throat> Dame has his shoe coming. And then we also, I think Donovan Mitchell and, and also this gentleman right here, man. You can see the box. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry for the coughing. Nice box, man. Nice packaging here. It has his name here on this side. If you guys can see that. And yes, it is a basketball sneaker. It is the Anthony Edwards, the AE1. Ant Man is what they call him. Um, I got the All Star colorway. Look at this, man. This shoe is beautiful, man. This textile upper. I love the iridescent. It changes color. So, like right now, I'm seeing like that purplish bronze. But if you turn it a certain way, you can see a green on it. I don't know if you guys can see that on this side, but. This is a dope shoe, man. It has a textile upper. It has a textile upper on the shoe. Of course, it has that signature boost technology in the midsole and also the light strike, um, light strike uh, cushioning on in this shoe that actually helps with the responsiveness. Of course, this is a basketball sneaker. I don't hoop that much, so I would not be hooping in these, but I just thought generally this was a dope shoe to have to wear at athleisurely um so that's why i got it like this it reminds me like a car man like a vent on a car here on the side like he said it he said himself that he has the dopest basketball shoe right now nobody's touching him and if i could be 1000 percent honest with you i have to agree with him uh the first color they dropped was a peach color i wasn't a fan of those the blue was cool this one was the one that piqued my interest as well as I think they have a black and red colorway coming out. Uh, the black and white colorway comes out this weekend. If I'm not, No, March 1st. The black and white colorway comes out March 1st on Adidas app. Um, but that red and black pair got, is really catching my attention. But I had to get this pair. Retail on this shoe is... Is it 150 I think it's 150. I pardon me. Uh, I be pulling trades and stuff off, the shoe, so I don't be. I, a lot of times I don't keep up with it. You know the pricing of the shoe, but yes, I think it's 150. If I'm not mistaken, you guys can go check. Uh, they do have pairs available on Foot Locker. Uh, sizes available on FootLocker.com, and I maybe some sizes on uh, Adidas, but for sure Foot Locker and Champs because I've been seeing they've been restocking them on Foot Locker and Champs. So you definitely uh, should go there and check out and see what they have. Um, now, I saw him wear these in the All-Star game, but he had the neon, the, this color. He had this neon laces in his, which I thought was dope. Kind of gives it a pop to the shoe. Some people said theirs came with those laces. Um, let's see, because I haven't even opened these up. Mine did not come with those laces, unless they're in here. No. So, no. Some people said theirs did. If yours did, congratulations. Uh, my pair did not come with the neon laces in them. Uh, so, if you maybe you got yours a special pair doing All-Star or something from a certain retailer that they had uh, exclusive uh, with where you got those laces. If you did, salute. Uh, but this pair did not come with the extra set of laces. You guys can see that again, man. But this is overall a beautiful shoe. I like this thin upper. It's like a sock almost, it looks like. You can put your foot in there. It's not hard. Uh, this part is hard, of course, but it's not just, it's not really hard to get your shoe, I mean, your foot inside of the shoe. But overall, nice shoe, man. If you don't have a pair, get them in the collection. Now, as far as fit, I tried it on. Uh, I am a 13. It was a little snug, but I think after I wear it a couple times, Maybe I'll break into it. It's not as snug as your normal athlete sneaker. Um, so I would I would say that. So you could 
you could either go true to size or you could go half a size up. If you have the, the access to go half a size up, I wouldn't be mad if you went half a size up on them. If you want to wear them, like I said, athleisurely. If you're hooping, of course, you want the tight, snug fit, <clears throat> go true to size. But if you're wearing them like off court, just casually, I would probably go a half size up. Uh, personally, that's me. For my foot, I would go a half size up probably. But the 13 is, isn't that bad. A true to size isn't that bad, but maybe a half a size up. Uh, but that's pretty much it, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. And until the next video, you guys be cool.